Hi, this is John from Nashville Concierge, and we're going to check out the Grand Old Opry. And as we enter the Opry, this blue car here was a payment for Tammy Wynette for a show she did in Las Vegas. And now we enter into where Studio A is located. Hee Haw was filmed back in the 70s. It was a syndicated show that a lot of people believed had a lot to do with promoting the growth of country music as much as the Grand Old Opry itself. For those of you who remember Hee Haw, uh, please put down in the comments below what act or what performer you enjoyed watching on the show the most. I'd have to say that my favorite from back then would have been uh, Roy Clark or maybe Buck Owens, but the, the, the entire show was pretty good and uh, it was great entertainment for a young kid in his uh, early teens. Next we come to the Opry Post Office where every member of the Opry has their own mailbox. Across from this are the membership plaques. When a person and a member is inducted into the Opry, they receive their plaque, a screwdriver, and two screws, and they install the plaque themselves. The next member to be uh, inducted will be Rhonda Vincent, a, blue, a bluegrass performer, and they have just not set a date for her yet, but she will be uh, doing this soon. And now it's time to check out dressing rooms. The first one is called Stars and Stripes, dedicated to country artists who are veterans who served in the military. And next we have Now That's Funny. It's a dressing room dedicated to comedy acts and country and it's got a hee-haw theme. Following this we have It Takes Two, a dressing room dedicated to the duets of country music. And next we have Welcome Friends and Neighbors. It's a dressing room that is specially meant for uh, non-country performers who play at the Opry. The next room is called Welcome to the Family. It's for the new inductees into the Opry. When Luke Combs became a member, he invited over 150 friends and family members to come and take part in his celebration, which is actually pretty common. next dressing room is called Cousin Minnie, dedicated to Sarah Cannon, also known by everyone as Minnie Pearl. And Minnie Pearl was considered the mother of the Grand Old Opry, and she was a welcoming face for all of the uh, artists that perform there. And our next dressing room is called It All Begins With a Song, dedicated to the many uh, great songwriters of country music. Uh, this next room is called Women of Country Music. And for those of you who are fans of the television show Nashville, this is the room where the first scene of the pilot show was uh, shot and it might look familiar to you. On the walls, you'll see uh, photographs and portraits of uh, several of the uh, female members of the Opry whom the room is dedicated to. This next dressing room that we're looking at is called Wagon Master. And can you guess who it's dedicated to? That's right, Porter Wagner. And this happens to be the second largest dressing room in the Opry, and it's also one of the only two that has its own restroom. And uh, when Dolly Parton stays at the Opry, this is where she'll be, this is the dressing room she'll be using when she's there. 
and it's quite big and uh, pretty uh, fancy. Okay, we're done with the backstage part of the tour and now we're going to work our way onto the stage. This is the most famous stage in country music and we're about to go on to it. A couple of things I'd like you to notice. If you look out into the where the audience is at, those are church pews. They're not seats, they're church pews. And uh, that is a tradition for both the old Opry building, the Ryman Auditorium, as well as here. And also when you finally make it to the front of the stage, you're gonna see a, a circle in the wood and a microphone in the middle of the circle. And that is the WSM uh, circle for the Grand Old Opry show. And every performer at the Opry has stood in that circle and performed. And now we're about to leave the stage and we're going to walk around where you can get a view of uh, what it looks like from the audience's uh, seating. For those who don't know, the Grand Old Opry is a radio show that began in 1925 on a Saturday night. And through the last 94 years, they have not missed a night's performance. Please hit the like button below and if you'd like to subscribe hit that button as well if you would like to be notified of further uh, videos there's a bell you can hit and uh, you'll be notified when anything is happening on the uh, website thank you for stopping by and i do appreciate you being here